everyone welcome back to Desiree Budgets. I hope you've all been doing well. I know it's been quite a while but I'm finally back. For today's video I wanted to count how much I have in my sinking funds plus my savings challenges. It's been a while since I've been in front of the camera so I think I want to get a good number to see where I'm at and kind of go from there hopefully starting as usual every video a few times a week so with that i'm gonna go ahead and start with one of the challenges which is one of the um trickier challenges just because i took them all out but what i'm going to do is start counting them here so i filled out one two three four just to see how much i've done i'm gonna put them to the side five six i hope you have all been doing well I've had a lot of expenses that have come up in the last few weeks, really. And see, this is the number 12, but I just put $3 in here. So I'm making sure that I'm adding the numbers up. But finally, I think that's behind me. However, I do have a party coming up that I need to use some of my budget for that. So I wanna see how much I have in my long-term sinking funds. And just how much is waiting for me here in my savings challenges when I complete them and I'm able to put them in my sinking funds because I don't want to deplete it if I don't think that I'm going to have money to fund those sinking funds again. So nothing here. This is a 10. A few weeks ago, I went to the nail salon to get... Uh, my nails done French tip and it was kind of pricey I don't usually go it is very rare the days that I do go and I decided to buy a nail kit online and just try to do my nails on my own I bought a UV lamp and they came out pretty well actually I was really proud of how they came out but yesterday when I was doing my nails, I, I didn't want to use the UV lamp, so they messed up when I was sleeping because they weren't completely dried. But it's okay. I can do better next time. <laughs> Seven, and then finally we have this 10 for a total of 267 for this challenge here and now that I'm done with this challenge I can move on to the next which is my cruise fund whoops so I have my cruise fund in here which is my travel savings, I suppose. So I have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Oh no, it is not my travel savings. I was, I was gonna say, this is quite a bit of money. It's actually right here, cruise fund. You'll see in a minute which one's my travel fund. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 dollars. Sounds much more accurate. 46 dollars. Oh no. Dang it. I know I had, what is it, like around 237? That's a rough estimate. So I guess from now on, it's it's all going to be a rough estimate because there's no way I'm going back to count that money. But I will definitely adjust in somewhere here <laughs> how much money it is towards the end. So this is for cruise fund. And up next, I have shut the box here, which I'm almost done with this one. I just need one more and then I'll be able to unstuff the challenge. And for this one, I have, ooh, can I put these in the back? There we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
40, 45, 50, 51, 52. 52 dollars and shut the box. And I have one more round to go. 52. And finally my travel, my travel savings challenge here. And for this travel savings, it's this here, which is 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 on the dot. Okay. So 100 here. The next one is my princess savings challenge. And in here I have 500, 600, 700. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put 700 prop bills, PB. And then I'm only gonna put what's cash here. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 260. And then towards the end, I'll add both numbers just so it can see them individually. Next up is the Skittles challenge. And I haven't done this one in a while. I kind of stopped doing it. So in here I have five, 10, 15, $20. I'm gonna have to start doing this challenge once again when, I'm com when I've completed another challenge. This home savings challenge uh, is here in my binder and I'm completing one box every savings challenge I do it is a 20,000 savings challenge it's going to take me a while but that's okay and here I have five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five Okay, so 45 in my home savings challenge. How many of you do your nails on your own versus how many of you put it in your budget to get your nails done? Very curious. The second time around, I got much better, but like I said, I didn't use the UV lamp, so they don't look as good. <laughs> For Savopoly, I have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. Ooh, we're almost at a thousand. Can we reach a thousand and just cash? Okay, so this money is for this booklet here, the color and save, the spring into savings challenge. And for that one, I have how much cash? Let's see. Okay. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 dollars. 45. Did I say 45? I, I think so. Okay, 193. I like this book so much because it's colorful and I'm probably gonna spend many years trying to fill this out. <laughs> That's okay. And then I have this challenge here. I get to put these stickers on here. And for this particular challenge, I have... 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300 on the dot. Yay! This passed me over the 1,000 mark. Okay, I am officially motivated to keep going and stuffing my envelopes and putting the resting money into my savings challenge for sure. And then this is the wild for savings challenge. 
And that one too is one that I haven't really done too often, but I have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, $59 for a total of $1,252. Again, this is about because I forgot how much money I had in my 100 savings challenge envelopes. But I will be right back for my long-term sinking funds. So in my long-term sinking funds, the first category I have here is car. And I have 500 in prop bills. And then a $5 bill in cash. And then my sheet here says uh, 439. Then holidays, I'm very curious about the birthday one because like I mentioned, I'm gonna have to spend a bit of cash. So for prop bills, I have one, two, 300. And in cash, I have 50, 70, 75, 80, 85. In total for holidays, I have 385. Oops, okay. Investments and prop bills, I have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Wait, is it 4,000? Yes, 4,000. And then five ten. All righty. Then in birthdays, the category that I'm interested in, let's see how much money I can take out of here. I have one, two, three, four hundred dollars in prop bills, and twenty, thirty, thirty five, forty. 40. $40. Okay. You know, birthdays was supposed to be a category in which I would use for birthday presents for other people, but I have a special occasion coming up and I'm gonna have to use this money for myself. So it's gonna be pricey as well. I might have to use all of it and then see what I do or where I get the other money from. But anywho, I have 500, 600 in prop bills. And in cash, I have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, $33 for a total of 1,425. This is for vacation. Oh, and in vacation, I have a total of $633. that seems to be everything so cash i have let's see 1425 and then in prop bills i have 700 plus 500 plus 300 plus 4000 plus 400 plus 600 and that gives me a total of six thousand five hundred in prop bills so if i were to add that with the cash i have that will give me a total of seven thousand nine hundred twenty five okay sweet awesome so this is a nice sweet number hopefully i'll be able to put the money in my savings challenges into my long-term sinking funds it's going to take a while because some of the challenges i have are gonna take me a ridiculously long time, but I think over time, I'm going to enjoy seeing some of those specific long challenges 
uh, be filled with money and that's just going to encourage me even further to kind of speed up the process so that one day I can finally get that money out into um, my long-term sinking funds. But thank you so much for joining me and hopefully from now on I'll be more on time on the videos. I hope you have an amazing and beautiful week. Bye everyone.